under the heading reimagining fire hydrants. And imagine this, taking a fire hydrant on the street of New York and expanding it so it's also a water fountain. Still helping first responders put out fires, of course, but also providing drinking water for people in the nation's biggest city. Some cities in Canada already doing this, of course, and now in New York, a pilot program to see if it'll work here. Drink up. Here's Eyewitness News reporter Pedro Rivera. They've been seen in Canadian cities like Toronto, Montreal, and Edmonton, and could soon pop up in New York City. We have a great need to for access to clean drinking water in public spaces. So. City Council Member Eric Botcher introduced legislation Thursday that will convert some fire hydrants into free, dual-purpose water refill stations. In a city where we have some of the best drinking water in the planet, it comes in comes right from the Catskill Mountains. So we should really be encouraging New Yorkers to drink tap water. The pilot program would retrofit five fire hydrants in each of the five boroughs, operating seasonally from April to September. Botcher believes the stations would help wean New Yorkers from overconsuming single-use plastic bottles. They anticipate that by the year 2050, there will be more plastic than fish in our oceans. And New York is contributing to this problem. But would anyone actually use the stations? I wouldn't trust it. Keep your bottle of water and be safe. With such filth, the carbon monoxide and everything coming out of the cars, I, I really just don't think it's good here. I wouldn't touch it. I wouldn't drink out of a, a fountain on the in the park, let alone on the street. But dog owners I spoke with, like Nancy Berlin, are open to the idea. People need this, if, especially the summers are so hot, so we need to hydrate. And Rafaela agrees. This will be really good, right, Rafi? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now, we don't know exactly how much this will cost, but the FDNY tells us they do plan on working with Botcher and the Department of Environmental Protection on this project moving forward. If the legislation is approved, we could see this pilot program go into effect by the end of the year.